Okay. Hello and welcome back everyone. So today I have this which is the Konica C35MF lens. I took this thing off this Konica C35MF. The video is yet to air. So I've not made the video yet. I think the video is actually shot on my HTC U11 on this thing. Now I'm shooting on the 6400 but let me go show you. So I actually took this thing out with, with just this. So this was like, since this thing's an AF compact, not like one of those Ricoh GR, hey, what the heck, GR, what, what you call this thing? It's the Ricoh, what you call this thing? Ah, shit. Oh, it's the AF50, okay. So my Ricoh AF50 was, oh shit, was not autofocus, so it did not have the helicoid. But on this thing, you actually have a helicoid, which is... Not bad. So let me go focus in closer. This actually has a real helicoid, which is controlled by this little tab right here. See, and this thing's mounted on an LTM adapter right here to the e uh, what you call this thing to the next mount. So let's unscrew this thing off the LTM adapter right here, and this is the back. I've glued this thing in. So. <clears throat> It shouldn't come out too much. It's got a stop right there, which is good. And yeah, that's all it, there is to it. And then you got this focusing thing. This focusing stopper thing and the red like marker thing was actually from the original camera right here. All I added on is this like plastic LTM adapter. So next, let's show you the camera itself. This thing was pretty easy to actually disassemble so to take this lens out you actually have to take the whole shutter assembly out which is pretty easy by taking the front I mean top off the bottom off then you got the like screws which are this 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 and this once you do that you take out this 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 and this to actually access the the inner bits of the thing right here and you can actually take this plastic shroud thingy off and once you do that you're left with the shutter assembly Take off crack of every single thing except for the helicoid, and you're left with this. So that that's it. Uh, <laughs> um, this thing I think was a Konica Minolta partnership maybe because I also see these lenses on the <clears throat> Minolta lens Minolta compact cameras on the, of the of the same era as that thing as the Konica C thirty five MF. Um, this thing. It's a 38mm f2.8 and it's actually a pretty good lens. Let me go show you. So let me go mount this thing on the LTM adapter and mount it on the on the Sony. So yeah. Um this thing is actually a bit hyperfocal, which is not the best if you want close focus, but this thing actually still focuses down to like 50 cm. 50 centimeters. So 50 cm is like one half cm is one inch, so it's like twenty inches. So yeah, let me go change this Samyang off of the sixty four hundred and mount this Rico. I will take it. It's a Konica. So yeah, um, let's focus down then. This is not 50 cm. Let's focus somewhere a bit further. So let's focus on the Jupiter 3. This focus is actually pretty light because it's only on this like one wire thingy. And the helicoid is not creased. So it does not produce any fungi. Although this thing had some fungi on the back, which I'm not sure where it came from. And <clears throat> it's actually pretty smooth. So let me go try like push this tripod a bit down and Right focus a little bit, so let's bring it down to like table level this head. <clears throat> then let's level it out. So let's see the Jupiter 3. Can I actually focus on the Yashica? No, I can't. So the closest I can focus on is not the Jupiter 3 also. Jupiter 3 is still out of bounds. So the closest thing is this Isco right there, which is sent by some 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 uh, a watch of the channel so 
somebody watching Shannon like she asked me to convert that thing I'm still in the process of designing it so let's try wreck this thing's focus so I'm gonna try if you can see the Bag & Olufsen headphones right there I mean the headphone box from the V30 I'm gonna try wreck that thing to the disco that thing to the disco I mean what the heck is this thing called? it's called Koa Koa something so yeah um, let's wreck the focus close bit far close bit far close see near zero sound now most of my conversions are like this so like that Helios 103 right there that thing is a 3d printed helicoid with with a helicoid like this you can actually have sound like let's listen to this see cause it's made of carbon fiber and plastic so those two actually like Rubber can she start every time you spin that thing. This Leica also, it's my Leica Hector, Hector P2. This thing's a way smoother because it uses like this pin to focus. Let's try unscrewing this by a pin. Actually, no, let's, let's move back to the Samyang. So let's unscrew this guy. Put the Samyang back on. Okay, nice. Then um, so let's focus back down. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, so on this like a Hector, you can actually see that this focus is not that noisy. Cause this thing only uses like one bit right here to press on the Leica's helicoid. See, thing with this is that. With the Koa, I mean, what what you call this thing? With the Konica, you actually don't need. Let's bring this thing a bit higher. You don't need to mess around with plastic because you already have this, like awesome smooth metal. I think aluminum, but might be also brass. Helicoid from the factory. So, if you can get it for free, why make a new one? Let's put it down. Focus in. Okay, so that's why this thing can focus nearly quietly. This thing only has some little rattle sound like that. And I think that's because there's no crease on this thing, but it came without crease, so I'm not gonna crease it. Why I'm not gonna crease it is because this thing's pretty small, and with those small tolerances. I'm afraid that the crease is gonna splat everywhere and essentially go on the optics then cause fungi and stuff like that. So <clears throat> then for this thing, how I made this thing work is just pretty simple. There's some guy on the internet which makes these like conversion 3D printed thingies for this for compact lenses. It's called like an S2 Leica LTM or something like that on Thingiverse and so I downloaded that thing and it's supposed to work with these like like <clears throat> this thing the lens of a Kodak Star which screws into there but for this thing it's actually pretty different because the holes are supposed to be a bit bigger so what I took this thing as was like a Leica body cap then I just push this thing in there with heat um, yeah, so the process itself was not very hard and the costs are not very high, so you can actually try this at home. Um, then yeah, um, I think everything's done for this this lens. It actually flares pretty cool. Let me go show you the flare. I think I forgot to like, show you the flares. So let's take this off one more time. So let's see. <clears throat> See, this thing flares pretty cool, like, like legit cool. I've not tried this thing on the sun, but it should be cool. So, this is on APS-C on the Sony 6400. It might be more flary on full frame, but I'm not very sure. So, yeah. Overall, thank you for watching everyone. Hope you liked it and consider subscribing maybe if you like the video. And thank you and goodbye.